Good day everybody. Welcome to the Garmin Phoenix 7 Pro tutorial series. In this video, I will assume you know the basic functionality of the watch and know how to access all the relevant menus. If you are unfamiliar with the watch controls, please go to the overview video first. You can either click on the card at the top right or follow the link in the description below. Now on to the topic at hand. Good evening guys. Today I want to show you how easy it is to compare your activities and to get some details on them in the Garmin Connect web portal. So if you go to connect.garmin.com, um, you can see on the left hand side, there's a pane. If you hover over it, it will open up. You don't need to click it. You can either click on that arrow on top there, which will keep it open for you. Or if you want to hide it, you just hover over it and it will open it up. Then we go down and we're going to click on activities and you're going to click on all activities. Then the window will come up with your activities. You can further uh, filter this on the right hand side. You can choose to only have running activities or only your cycle activities. So you can go through the list. There's a bunch of stuff here. We want to see our running activities. Now, here's the list of the, done, the ones I've done recently. They go from most recent down to the oldest activities down here. If you're going to click on one of them on the name itself, you will see my cursor will change to the hand. If you click on that, it will open that actual activity. Once the activity has opened up, um, you can scroll down and get some more detailed information regarding it. Uh, you've got your the top here, you've got your pace, and then you've got our heart rate, elevation, and here at the bottom, you will get all the other statistics of your, of your run or your activity or whatever you did. Now, a nice thing is that you can compare some of these activities with each other. So if we just go back to our activity menu, let us say I want to um, compare my steady state ones with each other. Then all I do is I hover inside here, I don't go on the name, just on the right hand side, I click on one of them and that will highlight that activity. Then I go to a second one and do the same. You can compare up to four activities with each other and the order in which you select them will be the order in which they display once you click compare. Now I can go up and click on the compare button Now both our activities has loaded up. Um, you will see on the map, both of them will be on here. Uh, this activities was actually done on the same course. Only difference was that the one I did um, a reverse of the, of the first one. You can click up on the play button here to see how you did your run actually. And you can see the two points move there according to where you were. You will also see it moving on your graph, on the elevation graph. This elevation graph you can change to show your speed. You can also change it to show, let's say, your heart rate. Anyways, if we go down, we will see the two activities. So I selected the most recent one first and then I selected the older one and they will be next to each other. So you can check exactly how you did. So the distance is almost the same. Uh, the time it took the first run I did was a little bit quicker than the second one. I can see my average pace was three seconds per kilometer quicker the second one. So here you can see a lot of different um, data points and the differences between them. So you can compare how you became better or worse over time. And then here at the bottom, you've got your splits if your um, activities contain splits. And that's basically, it doesn't give you as much detail as when you look at the activities on their own, but it will give you a nice way to, to compare all the stats between the two, three or four. Now, if you want to go from here directly into one of the activities, you just click on the name there again, and it will open up that activity on its own. So this is the most recent one I did on Saturday on the steady state ones. Um, you can see uh, there's much more detailed and a lot more 
things you can look at, but it's nice to be able to compare some of your activities as I've showed you. Okay, thanks for watching.